Have you ever heard of Black Forest, Colorado? Located just northeast of Colorado Springs is the town of Black Forest, a community of just over 14,000 residents that is named for its abundant ponderosa pines, and is also known as one of the world's most haunted places. Officially settled in the mid-1850s, Black Forest was once a primary source of then-scarce lumber, and at one point employed more than 1,000 lumberjacks and 700 teamsters. Many homes and other structures were built on Native American land, and while there have been numerous sightings of apparitions in the dark forest, one haunting in particular sticks out, the haunting of the Lee family. Per reports, the haunting began in 1991, after Coloradans Steve and Beth Lee purchased their dream home in the woods. Not long after buying the house, the couple began to experience strange occurrences, including unexplainable noises, such as chains, loud orchestra music, and footsteps, foul odors, and flashing lights, prompting the couple to purchase an expensive security system. When the security system failed to catch anything and the mysterious events continued, the Lees reached out to the television show sightings. The show's producers, ghost hunters, and mediums determined that there were multiple spirits in the house, led by a male spirit who claimed the house as his own. It was clear that this black forest haunting was not like any other, and to make matters worse, both Beth and one of the show's crew members were overtaken by a spirit during filming. This was by far, one of the strangest cases taken on by the show and during filming, the crew member was shown violently crying on the ground while complaining of both numbness and the feeling of something entering her. After returning with a new psychic six months later, it was determined that one of the spirits was that of Howard, the son of one of the Lee family friends who had died years before. The paranormal investigators speculated that Howard may have entered a rift in space-time whilst trying to communicate with his still-living father. Later, sensing that the presence of Native Americans on this land some 800 years ago in some way was contributing to the phenomena they had experienced, the Lees took the steps to consult a Hopi shaman to come to their home and give his impressions. The shaman claimed that a rainbow vortex, a type of passageway into this world, from the spirit world, was located on their property, and is indeed the majority of their problems, with spirits having the ability to travel between both worlds. Research reveals that there are only two other areas in which similar phenomena has been recorded, one in Arizona and one in London, England. Despite the unfolding of more information and theories as to why these forces affect their home, the Lees continue to experience activity to this day. In many ways, it has picked up its intensity, with doors opening and closing, along with apparitions of women, men and children seen frequently, as well as spectral animals, and the strange flashing of lights continue.